I sell that to you. Uh, I assume I don't. But I want to talk a little bit more today about the, uh, the parish. So as Lori said, it's separated into three communities. I'm going to get into all three of them in just a second. The cottages, the villas, and summer house. But just to kind of give you a lay of the land, for those who haven't seen the map before, uh, this is the community when you come off of Camino del Sur. You come into a street and you, are, uh, you have to come through a gate to come into the community. Uh, this is great. Gated communities are highly sought after in San Diego. And guess what? There aren't a lot of them. Um, Alberge has its own gate, just serving the 207 units here alone. Uh, when you come through the gate, the first impression that you have is of this building. This is our rec center called the club. This is a rendering of what it's going to look like. It's a massive structure. Uh, it's about 9,000 square feet. Uh, the tallest room is, I think, 23 feet tall. Um, it has everything. Everything that you would want or desire in a clubhouse, we put it in this one. In fact, we're already getting comments from the other folks in Del Sur wondering, why do they get it and we don't get it? So, uh, and you know, it's part of the amenities here and we're very proud to offer it to you today. You probably can't see this map very well, but I'm glad that you have a packet in there. But let me explain what uh, some of the amenities that you have inside the clubhouse and around uh, the grounds the, uh, of the facility. So this building um, is, like I said, it's about 9,000 square feet. Uh, it has a large meeting room. Um, it has a gathering space. It has a 24-foot bar. Um, it has a gy uh, gymnasium with all the bells and whistles, all the fitness equipment, uh, fully uh, furnished with lifestyle equipment, uh, cardio, uh, weight training, um, we're putting in um, uh, exercise uh, uh, equipment. Um, we're putting in a self-serving um, uh, fitness instructor that's just a virtual fitness instructor in there, um, which I won't explain it now, but it's pretty cool. Um, we have uh, uh, locker rooms, uh, changing rooms. We have meeting rooms. So uh, one thing that we'll get into, uh, probably not as much tonight, but I want you to think about it, is that these facilities become yours. Uh, we build it, and HOA maintains it, but guess what? It's for you. And a lot of times, these places become places where you have your own meetings, you form clubs, you form groups, you form organizations, and those groups all will meet in this clubhouse. In fact, we want you to be, make sure you show up there every day because something's happening and you don't want to miss it. Um, and so we have meeting rooms that have bifolding doors that close off or open and make even larger meeting rooms. If you have a club that wants to get together with five, ten people, you can close it off to a smaller room. Or if you want to have movie night with 50 people, you can open the thing up. Um, we are putting a large library in there uh, with bookshelves in it. Uh, we are putting a, um, uh, a concierge service in there. So there will be a person there who will help you book rooms if you want to uh, reserve a room or reserve a space in the clubhouse. Uh, we're going to provide that as well. Um, we're going to have office space. Uh, we're going to have a tech center. And then when you come outside, you're going to have covered um, outdoor space with fireplaces, ceiling fans, um, fire pits, and then you look out into the sunken um, uh, uh, pool area. So this pool area is, a, is about four feet down below uh, the area of the clubhouse. So it's a really neat uh, vanishing point where you get to stand up um, over and look at the pool down below. This pool is separated into two halves. There is a lap pool and a rec pool, um, and they flow into each other, and then there's a spa as well. There is bocce ball, two bocce ball courts. There's one pickleball court. I found out what pickleball was. I just learned that about 12 months ago. Um, but uh, I, I'm, I'm learning to become a professional, actually, right now. Um, we also have a restroom building in the back. Uh, barbecues and more fireplaces and uh, we uh, what else did I mention that uh, we have an outdoor uh, um, uh, fitness area as well that's adjacent to the gym so there's a lot going on there's a lot planned uh, we tried to provide it all we did a lot of focus groups we had some a lot of impact come uh, our people giving their their feedback to us when we were designing this building and make sure we included everything in there so you your feedback, probably a lot of it came from people in this room, uh, from people that, uh, that we engaged to, to give us uh, you know, feedback from, uh, people that did these type of facilities all over Southern California. 
we've, we've asked many questions and this is the result that we got. So the neighborhoods, I wanna go in and just give you a, a, a brief uh, floor plan review of all the neighborhoods. Lori mentioned where the different price points are. So at some point, you're probably starting to think about which one you're more suited to. Maybe even review the plans. Maybe even uh, there's someone that you, you, know, that you feel like uh, this may be uh, you know, the most suited for me in terms of the, the size, the bedroom count, all that. I'm gonna focus in a little bit more. And I'm also gonna give you something, uh, where when I'm talking about the floor plans, I'm gonna show you some of the options. Pay close attention to those options because those are gonna come up uh, in our uh, review afterwards. We're gonna get your feedback, and your feedback is vital for us. Um, so when I introduce the floor plans, I'm also gonna talk a little bit about some of those options and think about what you prefer. Do you prefer A or do you prefer B? So the cottages, the plan one, it's 1,276 square feet. It's two bedrooms, two baths. This is the smallest house here. Uh, you enter in through your own uh, personal courtyard in the front, um, come into an entry vestibule, and then you walk into a great room, big open great room with a media niche. Immediately you walk into your full kitchen with the island. Uh, the island has the, has the uh, uh, um, uh, sink in it and the dishwasher, you have cooktop and refrigerator, and then you have your dining room that looks out onto your yard. Your master bedroom suite is right here. Separate suite, uh, with a separate walk-in closet. You have the ability to also make this closet even bigger if you don't need a, a coat closet. Some people like coat co closets, some don't. But you have the ability to make a larger walk-in closet right here. And then you have your master bath. Your master bath has a shower, two sinks, and a private commode. And then when you come down to the uh, other side of the house, you have a second bedroom, its own bath, and the bath is, uh, has a bath has a, has a stand-up shower where you can do a tub shower, and then you have your own laundry as well off to the side. So that's 1,276 square feet. Um, and like I said, it's the, it's the smallest house. This one is attached to another unit. It's the only two that are attached to each other. It's a duplex attached. And I'll show you in a second what the, what the other unit is. Um, but in the cottages right next to it is a detached unit, which is the plan two. The plan two comes in two different um, arrangements. A two is a single story house, and a two X is a two story house. And I'll tell you in a second how they differ. When you come in through the, uh, uh, so go back, um, in the plan two. So the plan two, you enter on the side of the home, and then this is your garage on the other side. So on one side, you're in an, a motor court alley that's gonna be pavers on the ground. You, you know, uh, you're going to have uh, pavers up the alley and then into your, your uh, garage and then on the other side you're going to have your entry. So when you come in your entry, you come through, there's a hallway with two different bedrooms. This bedroom right here can also option into an office space. So if you don't want to have another bedroom and you, and you want a dedicated office, it would be right here. You have your laundry and then you have your dedicated bedroom and bath over on this uh, wing of the house. When you come in on the other side of the entry, you have a big open great room and dining room that also opens up into the kitchen. Kitchen's here, kitchen island, and then you have your uh, pantry. Now, there, this makes a separate a uh, access point to get into the other bedrooms, uh, hallways, but you can also opt to make this a large open pantry area, which is, right, which is shown on this diagram right here. Uh, when you come in on the other side, you walk out to the great room, this opens out into the backyard. And then off to this side is the master bedroom suite. So you have a master bedroom, you have your master bath with a shower, a tub, and two sinks, uh, your private commode, and your uh, walk-in closet. Now you can also say, I'm not interested in a tub and a shower, I just want a shower. And in many cases, we're optioning really large walk-in showers which is right here. And in that case, you actually have a kind of a separate dry off area, you get more room, there's plenty of maneuverability around the shower. That's an option to you. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about that in a second. That's the plan two, 1553 square feet, three bedrooms, two baths. The two X, so when you go to a two X, you essentially have an identical floor plan as the plan two with a second story. Um, I won't go through the whole floor plan of the plan two because it's identical. But what happens right here is you, where you had that coat closet, 
you now have a staircase. This staircase leads you up to the loft. Uh, in every, every house you'll see at Auberge, the master bedroom is on the first floor. It's always on the first floor. If you have a second floor, uh, it's because you have a bonus space or you have secondary bedrooms. In one case, we're off optioning a, a second master, and I'll get to that in a second. But your standard master will always be on the first floor. So in the loft space, you have a big open loft with a stair rail that, uh, you know, that takes you up uh, with a big open rail here. And then you also have the ability to add a half bath up there. Some people find that very important, and we'll talk a little bit more about that later. Think about that. If that's important to you, to have, a, have an open loft playroom, you have kids playing up there, folks you know, want to have a movie a room, a family room up top, do you want to have a second bedroom, uh, bathroom up there, a two-piece bathroom? That's the plan 2X, 1843 square feet. Okay, so the plan three, this is the uh, last house in the cottages series, 1,692 square feet. This is the house that's attached to the plan one. So as I was said before, the one and the three, a duplex unit attached on a common wall, which is right here. The two is a standalone. So in the plan three, on the side where you would park in your two car garage, you come through an entry and have a bedroom suite up front, bedroom and bathroom. You also have a bedroom uh, as you go down the hall, which can option into an optional den. When you walk into the uh, main living space, you have a dining, great room, and kitchen. They're all adjacent to each other in a big open space. And then this is a series of glass uh, windows and a door, and then that leads you out to your, your yard. Your yard is right here. You also have the option to do what's called a panoramic door. Does anyone know what a panoramic door is? Heard the term before? Mm -hmm. Folding door, yes. So I want to bring that up because that's going to come up as well in terms of what is your preference in terms of doors. There's a French door. A French door is a, open, is a standard door that's all glass that opens and closes. A sliding door is a sliding door that opens onto another door. So you may have a, a center slide where you have two operable doors that open in the middle or off from to one side. A panoramic door is a series of glass panels that all open onto each other. So you may have a 20 foot opening, let's say, with a series of doors, and in a panoramic door situation, they would all stack onto one side with a large opening. Uh, it, many builders do a, a series of options. That's usually the most sought after, but also uh, the, the most uh, you know, uh, 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 pricey option. Um, it obviously gives you the largest opening. Uh, it's very well received in the marketplace, but keep that in mind. So we have a series of different door openings that you can do for this large opening. Uh, you can do a slider, you can do a panoramic door, and then you walk into the master suite. The master suite is off to the side here. In the back, it also looks out to the yard. Uh, this master suite also has the master bath situation, what I talked about before, where you have a shower and a tub, or you can option into a super shower. And that's right here. And then you have your private commode and your uh, walk-in closet. Um, and then your laundry, sorry, I forgot to mention, is, also, is adjacent to the kitchen. So that's the cottages. That one is 1690, uh, 1690 square feet, three bedroom, two bath. So that's our first product line. Next, I want to jump into the villas. The villas is a uh, is four product, four plant types, um, and I'll get to in a second which ones uh, what they all are. They come in a cluster. So when you come into a motor court in the villas, you have four homes: two in the front, two in the back. They share a common drive that has, it's all, a, it'll be a, a, a motor court that has pavers, and then you come into your, your, uh, into your drive, uh, into your garage or into your unit. So this is the plan one. This is one of the units that's in the front. 1,604 square feet, two bedroom and two bath. When you walk in through the entry, I'm sorry about that. I walk into entry, you have an office up front and you have a bedroom and bath. Um, on the other side of the entry. When you walk in past there, you have a big open great room, dining and kitchen. That opens up onto what we call a Del Sur room. Del Sur room, has everyone heard the term Del Sur room before? No. 
Adele Sir room is an outdoor covered uh, living space. So you'll see those all throughout Del Sur. I'd say 95% of the homes in Del Sur have one. Uh, we coined the term um, specifically for our homes that live in Del Sur. A lot of people live out in their Del Sur rooms. You eat out there, you socialize out there, you hang out out there. And uh, we provided it as many cases as we can also at a parish. So you'll see it, when it says Del Sur room, outdoor covered space adjacent to the, to the backyard. Uh, then when you walk through into your master bedroom suite, we have connections to the Del Sur room too. You can either uh, do a French door out or you can just have a series of windows if you don't want to have access. And then you have your uh, master bath in the back as well. Same situation, you can either do a tub and shower or you can do a super shower. The Plan 1X. The Plan 1X is right adjacent to the Plan 1. So when you uh, look into the four, the four flex motor fork, on one side will be a Plan 1, on the other side will be a Plan 1X. The Plan 1X is identical to the Plan 1 on the first floor, except you get the second floor. Remember, anytime it says an X, it's because you get a second floor on that, on that plan. So where everything was identical from what we talked about before, at this entry, you get this large volume stair hall. So when you walk into this entry, you're gonna see this really cool staircase coming up, up top to a bonus room. Uh, this bonus room, in some cases, has a deck that, that will be adjacent to the bonus room looking out onto the courtyard. Um, also, we have either a large storage space or you can do a half bath, or you can do even a full bath up on that second floor. Keep that in mind. In some cases, you may want to have a full bath. A full bath means it's a half bath is a, a sink and a toilet. A full bath as either a shower or a tub shower. That's the Plan 1X, 1,918 square feet, two bedrooms, two baths with the bonus room. The Plan 2, the Plan 2 is one of the units in the back. So the plan two, when you come into your uh, drive court, you have an entry here, you have a great room, kitchen, dining, that also opens up onto one of those Del Sur rooms. And this Del Sur room has a optional fireplace. Think about that. There's a fireplace outside important to you. Is that something that you would like to have in your home? On one side, you have a master bedroom suite. This master bedroom suite looks out onto the yard. This whole space right here is your yard and then you have a master bathroom with a tub shower, again, or a single shower. On the other side, you have a office that can also become a bedroom, or you, and then you uh, come down a hall to a laundry with extra storage, and a second master is what we call, it's because they're equally sized and equally amenitized as a master. Um, and then it has the, uh, the master bath as well with um, all the, everything else that's on, on, on the first master side. This is the plan too. Two bedroom, two bath, 1,796 square feet. The plan three. The plan three would be adjacent to the plan two in the back of the motor board. Enter into the house to a large great room and dining and kitchen. This looks out into a, uh, the Del Sur room, big open Del Sur room space with again, uh, a uh, optional fireplace. On one side of the house, you have two bedrooms. One, one bedroom can also become an optional office space. Um, on the other side, you will have your laundry here next to your master bedroom, and then you have the master bedroom suite right here with your master bath and your walk-in closet. Again, this master bedroom can have accessibility out to your Del Sur room as well. That's the plan three, it's 1,756 square feet. The three X, what does the three X mean? I got it, I'm sensitive, so yes, a second floor of a plan three. So, identical floor plan, like we said, we add, tuck in a staircase right here next to the master bedroom, up to a really, really spectacular bonus room. And like I said in the, in the last time we had a, an X plan, optional, uh, a deck that occurs on some elevations. Um, this also has optional, an optional wet bar. Uh, it has a optional um, two piece bath or a three piece bath, half bath or full bath. This is the three X, 
2,067 square feet, three bed, two bath, with the upstairs bonus room. So that's the villas. That's our second product line, the middle product line. And now I want to introduce you to Summer House. Summer House is our single family detached community along the rim of a barrage. Every house on our barrage in Summer House has a view, uh, has a perimeter view um, in, uh, of the canyons um, along the edge of a barrage. Um, as you can see on the site plan, uh, the summer house that goes along all along the perimeter. Um, they're all detached homes. They have very ample sized yards um, that are, I think, uh, they're all over 35 feet uh, in size. So the plan one. The plan one is a single story home. It's 2,028 square feet. It's got three bedrooms and it has two bathrooms and a two car garage. This two car garage also has a full length driveway, so you can park two cars in in the garage, two in the driveway, and as many as you want in the street. Plenty of room for parking, for visitors, for anyone that's coming by. So you come into the house, you come through an entry vestibule, into a porch, and then into your entry. This is your kitchen, your great room, opens up into your Del Sur room. Again, the Del Sur room, optional fireplace. A series of door options that you can do in your great room. You can do a window uh, series with a French door. You can do a sliding door, or you can do what's shown here as the panoramic doors. In the master bath, uh, or the master suite, you have the master bedroom, the master bath, um, and that again has the separate tub uh, shower or the super shower. Down on this side, you have a separate dining room and a bedroom that would, uh, this bedroom and this bedroom would share this bath right here, and then this is your laundry. That's the summer house plan one, 2,028 square feet. The plan two, plan two gets a little bit larger, 2,757 square feet. This is a two bedroom house. Uh, it has your master on the first floor, and uh, when you get upstairs, I'll show you that there's a, there's a bonus space and a, and, a ba and a bedroom upstairs. Coming into, the, again, into the front of your house, two-car garage with a full-length driveway. Into your porch, and then into the house, you have a bedroom up in the front with its own bath. You have a laundry right here, and then you come into a large open kitchen nook and great room. This space back here is a office or an optional bedroom with its own bath. Then you come in the back, again, great room opens up onto a Del Sur room. Through this hallway right here, you have your master bedroom suite. In this case, you have split, uh, split labs. So you have two separate sinks with a tub in the middle, your shower, uh, your toilet room, and your walk-in closet. When you come up the stairs here, you walk up the stairs right here into a large open bonus space, and you have a full bath and a bedroom with its own walk-in closet. That's the plan too, it's 2,757 square feet, three bedrooms, two bath, with a bonus room upstairs. And finally, our largest house, the plan three at Summer House is 2,925 square feet. This house has everything. So when you come into the house, you have the porch, the entry, and a bedroom up front. This has a dedicated office. This office can also optional French doors into the office to have added privacy. You come in through the hallway into a dining room, a kitchen area, and a great room. This great room again opens up into the Del Sur room. Your master bedroom suite, master bath, with a shower, tub, two sinks, and a walk-in closet. And when you come upstairs, you come up to a very, very large bonus space. This is one of the largest bonus rooms I think we've ever done. This room, you can pretty much do anything up in here. And if that bonus room is, is important to you, but even more important would be to have a second master suite we've provided that option as well. So in a standard condition where you have a bonus and a bedroom with its own bath, you can do what we're showing here, which is an optional second master suite. This second master suite has its own bedroom, bath with two labs, a shower, 
and a toilet room with its own walk-in closet, and you still even get a large bonus room up at the top of the stairs. So that's the summer house, plan three, 2,925 square feet. That's a lot to take in. That's a lot of floor plans, and I'm sure you already have in the back of your mind which one's your favorite. I know I do. It's all of them. No, uh, so, I want again, just to reiterate, think about everything that you saw here, think about the options, and now we're gonna get your feedback. So I'm gonna hand the mic back over to Lori and take out your, uh, your punch buttons, and it's time for our interaction with you. but it's always helpful you know to have the plans where you can see but kind of break apart some of those differentiators uh, because sometimes that really makes a difference for how you are going to be living in the home uh, or your parents or your friends or whoever you may be looking for um, so what we wanted to do though is we really wanted to get like Alex had mentioned some of your feedback on some of the variations um, I have to say we really appreciate your feedback as you walked in with regard to the colors and the cabinets and kind of just the feel and the reason being is because we tend to see trends in colors and so what you saw there is actually the color palette in one of our um, communities that you'll be seeing at Auberge uh, but we really like to get a feel you know do you prefer the white cabinets or the espresso the richer the warm tones or what have you so thank you very much um, the designers all kind of like jotted down so we had just a feel um, so that was very helpful so we appreciate it. So um, one of the things that also I wanted to point out, because um, I know uh, as people saw information coming up on the website or driving past the community, you know, a lot of what you see is the two-story element, but every one of these homes are a single level home. And then they, some of them have that second story component, you know, where we could like Alex talked about the dual master or a secondary bedroom or a play area loft or bonus or office or what have you, but they really are all single level living. So I just wanted to make sure that was really clear for everybody. Um, so. Quick, quick question on the lot and the, I guess it's the cottage is that duplex. And then a single, one of the house next to it is a, a cluster of three. Correct. Right, right on the little map there. Is, is there lot premiums to get the little the, the, the single one versus the attached? Sure. It's probably a lot of but there's a detached on two of the base. It's actually a six pack. Oh, yeah. That's just one side of the court and the mirror back to the side of the court. So the question, just so everyone can hear, um, that was asked is where there is the um, um, our smaller community, uh, where we have the two, the plan one, and the three that are attached, and is there a premium for the plan two that would always be detached? There is because it's by itself, so that's just kind of part of the of it. And the way that the um, that area goes is there's three on one side, and there's a mirror of the three on the other side. So it's basically six together. Um, so just to help you on that one. Um, you know what, if we could hold the questions till the end, because I really want to get through this, and I know some people have, you know, that they want to get home, and so um, if we don't get to your questions, then go ahead and jot it down, or we can, we'll stay here for a little bit longer as well, if that is okay. Um, so, for those of you that have the remote, this literally is an interactive, and so we're going to do a little test as well, um, but your responses, as you're doing them, you only need to press one time, but as you're doing it, it actually comes in and it's going to show us on the screen and it will stay there. So that becomes part of our information that we take away. So it's really helpful. For those of you who don't have the remotes, please take out um, in your packet, we gave you the handwritten version. So just go ahead and answer by hand on the survey that's in there. It's just, a, it's just an answer sheet. Um, and then before you leave, as you're kind of exiting, again, we have a spot as you're leaving to just drop those surveys in because we really do value your feedback. It helps us really um, create the, the neighborhoods and the homes that, that you're really looking for. So um, we're going to actually do a little test for those of you that have the remote. And so um, when you have, for example, it, um, Lisa, can you go back really quick on one? When, when the answer is that you're looking for is an A, you basically would press that first button that either says one or A. There's gonna be some multiple choice where you could pick one, two, three, or A, B, C, and you just click each one as it goes, and that's all you have to do. It's very simple. Um, so what we're gonna do is um, on the next screen, we're gonna say something. 
Yes, there's actually a clock that, that's kind of down in the in the bottom that's going to be like 20 seconds that we have for each one. You can already start voting. If you already know and we're talking and you want to vote, you can vote before that clock starts or before that clock ends. So just so you know, it all it gets it all in there. Um, so on this one, for those of you that um, have the remotes, what we want you to do is we're going to test this. So um, you want to pick the best answer for a parking brake is to a car as an anchor is to what? Go ahead. I was like, I don't get it. So like, okay, now I got it. Show up on the screen. It's just getting the information, but it won't show. 